Yo, what's good, everybody? Man, I've been sitting here getting this prepared and just thinking to myself of how everyone's been sleeping on these other units is going to get their easy A's later on after the Goku and Vegeta get their easy A's. And man, it's going to be one of those ones where probably you ain't even been thinking about it at all. And then when you start to see it, you realize, oh, they are going to they are going to get an easy A later on. It's going to look a little different around here. So if you guys haven't hit the like button, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. That way you get notified when we go live and put up more videos. Roll the intro. So first, what I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about right now is that the Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, y'all know he's about to get his and Vegeta, their easy A's pretty soon, but you got both Super Saiyan 3 Gokus and then Pan that's going to get an awakening from his uh, said, you know, easy A when it does come back eventually. I am incredibly ecstatic for Pan. The reason why I'm ecstatic for Pan is because Pan is pretty much just support right now. And when I go over here and I look at it, I'm just going to go and get her as she is awakened because I'm not even going to worry about her right now unawakened. Like the true beauty of this is when she's awakened. So Pan, AJL and physical type plus 2 KH protect and defense 30%. Not worried about that at all super attack cause supreme damage okay and then attack 25 percent for allies for one turn very interesting uh that's when you caught my attention a little bit right now now that passive is attack and defense 30 percent for all allies when hp is 30 percent or above you caught me again because if you do the math that's 55 percent attack and 30 percent defense to all allies especially if she's first doing super attack now here's a big thing about it that's it. That, that's all it is, is just support. When she gets an easy A, I'm assuming they're going to give her attack and defense up. They might even knock off the HP above 30% and just give her a flat out all attacking, you know, all allies attacking defense 30% up. I mean, that's still an improvement because I mean, even if you did get under 30% and you lost that, she was on rotation, then you're like, okay, well, I only get 25 if, you know, <laughs> she's at first and attacking and there's not any, any situation that you're running. You're probably going to have her unless it's, unless the unit's stunned or something like that. That'd be like the only way you can put her in the first. That way you can even get the extra 25. So I'm going to assume that she's probably going to be absolutely nutty. And she's the one I'm looking forward the most on the Goku. At a matter of fact, even Goku and Vegeta. She's the one I'm looking forward to the most of getting their easy A because of it. And if you literally come down here and look at her stacks uh, maxed out. Uh, she she does have nice stats. I mean, 15,000 HP, 12,000 attack, 9,000 defense, almost 10,000 defense. Like, you put a defense uh, 500 on her, she has 10,000 defense. So, it's like, she doesn't have bad stats. And once she gets her easy A, they're going to be even better. And if she even gets somewhere around, like, 100% attack and defense for herself, uh, she's going to be doing insane things. And she's going to be a staple probably on GT uh, Heroes and all series. Probably in, in, on anything that she's really on. Peppy Gals. Actually, I don't think she's on Peppy Gals. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, she's not on Peppy Gals. But Youth Category, that'd be insane. Command Man Category, insane. GT Heroes, insane. Uh, Shadow Dragon Saga, I mean, whatever. Hybrid Saiyans, insane support. So I would say she's, she's probably the one I'm looking forward to literally the most out of this and both the super saiyan 3 gokus uh i honestly don't even remember uh it, that much about these guys at all like i don't think i i don't think i've used them uh in a very 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 long time so i'm gonna i know goku uh, i know the str goku uh has a um i want to say a nuker lead but going over here to the Super Saiyan 3 uh, AGL one, all types, HP, attack, and defense, 
causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly raises attack for three turns. Attack and defense 90% at the start of turn. Technically speaking, not the worst at all. But with an easy A, say he's like 150 attack and defense at the start of turn and maybe uh, has something else going on. I would, would uh, maybe an extra additional super tag or built-in crit or even a built-in dodge or something like that would be insane, especially with racing attack for three turns. That's great. That's literally, they attack, next rotation comes back, and then bam, they come back. So that would technically stack. And I'd be 100% cool with that. And again, his stats are not not bad. I mean, 14,000 HP, 12,000 attack, 10,000 defense. Not terrible. Like the, the unit after an EZA would not be terrible at all. I'm trying to go through this sort of as fast as possible. That way... I'm not just, you know, chilling on this at all. Like, and then obviously this uh, Goku does have uh, a great eight mechanic, which again would probably be a whole lot better uh, after the easy A. So again, he is SCR Nuker. Um, supreme damage uh, to the enemy raises attack for three turns. Uh, all allies attack 33%. Uh, turn into a grade eight when conditions are literally met and then graded conditions are turned into a once only. Uh, you, you, like, you feel me? Like, He's not, you know, great. No one's really using him. Uh, destructive damage and stuff like that. And then being able to use the hidden potential system and stuff like that. He, with higher stats, he would be way better than I would think. But in my opinion, it, like for, for me, usually uh, any kind of supporters are what I would go in and be like, yeah, uh, if, if you're a supporter, yeah, it's all great. Like, for instance... This uh, baby right here, I don't know if anybody low-key really using this baby like that. Let, like, let's be honest here. Like, he has a grade 8 mechanic. And even on the nuke punching bag events, you're not really using him because you don't want him to turn into a grade 8. So, and ruin whatever you're doing. So, literally, that's that's that. Like, it, oh my gosh. It, it, like, his easy would be pretty great as well, too. Uh, let me just go ahead and say this. I mean... Go, just going and looking at his uh, uh, stats right now, uh, almost 14,000, literally almost 14,000, like 53, uh, 53 more points, and he's literally 14,000 HP. Attack, 13,000. Defense, literally 9,500. 9, Same thing for, like, how I guess I think the pan was, where if you put 500 defense on, that's 10,000 right then and there. So, literally just going through a look at him again, nuke. Supreme damage greatly lowers attack. Attack 100% when HP is 30% or more. Turn into a grade 8 when conditions are met. Like, that's that's literally it. He has no defense. That's it. If he was, if he has some kind of extra GT, a uh, boss's support, or and he had defense as well, on top of everything else, he'd be inc incredible. Like, in all seriousness, and no one runs, uh, don't tell me right now that you run uh, Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku, because I know you lying. I know you cap him right then and there. Ain't nobody running him. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I got him to where he could be Rainbow, and I've actually been summoning him so much. I'm literally just up in his essay with each copy. I'm pretty sure I'm at like four or five or something like that. I don't run him at all. Like, he's got a he's got an awakening. Still don't run him at all. Like, attacking, like, literally, his attack is... Not honestly that bad. I mean, 14,000 rainbow, 13,000 attack, 9,000 defense. But you look at a super attack, cause supreme damage to the enemy and greatly raises defense by 30% for three turns. He can he can defend. Currently, right now, especially if you put him on GT Heroes or anything along the lines of... Actually, he's not even in GT Heroes. He's just in crossover. Excuse him, one. But Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, crossovers, uh, probably just Warriors, whatever, like... I mean, he'll still be able to do something uh, in terms of defending, like attack and defense, 90% at the start of turn. Like, it's not terrible. It's just no one runs him. I don't think any, really anybody's even running the Super Saiyan 3 category. I don't think anybody's ran Super Saiyan 3 category in a, in a while unless it's for Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, something. Like, I, I don't I don't think anybody's running uh, that at all. So, yeah, yeah like, he has... 
honestly, like no purpose. This trunks, I don't think I've touched this trunks, and I don't even know how long. Uh, and also, he 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 might not even be uh, SA10 right now. It's been so long since he's been there too. In, in all seriousness, like again, tech like dual leader for a type. Tank and STR plus two key HP attack and defense thirty percent uh, causes supreme damage to the enemy greatly lowers defense attack one hundred percent when performing a super attack. Mans has no defense. Mans has no defense whatsoever. And that's it. Uh, with literally the with I'm I'm saying right now with EZA all these units will be better. I mean fourteen thousand HP, thirteen thousand attack, all, literally two points away from nine thousand defense. They all will be a lot better, but it's like you're still going to have to wait probably a, a couple of months or so before the event even comes back. Maybe it may be longer than a couple of months, honestly. But when it comes back, they'll be better. And like I said, in my opinion, I would say um, Pan would be the best one out of them. And then I want to say maybe, maybe Baby. Or Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta after uh, it would be the next sort of best. Uh, probably how they would do this. But probably, actually might be uh, Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta that might be the next best out of this one. So, because he already defends and stuff. So, with higher stats and everything, he would, he would be better. And that that's honestly not a cap or anything like that. It's just Pan's already support. She's on the categories. She's already going to be great. I don't think anybody is going to be looking at her going, nah, she's not that great. Like, she's in GT Heroes. Uh, did they not have that on her? Wait a minute. Did they not have that on this? Okay, no, they did. No, they did. All right. I was, I was capping for a second. I, I was about to be like, wait a minute, what? But, yeah, like, I, in my opinion, I think she's the best. Uh, the more she gets her easy A and then set her up with B Pan. Uh, and stuff like, oh my god, that'd be a deadly combination. With B-Pan's active skill off as well, too? Whoa, that'd be a deadly combination. Damn. But let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel if you are looking forward to these guys getting their easy A's after the Super Saiyan 4s initially get theirs. Let me know in the comment section below. Have an awesome day slash night with you guys at the world. Stay safe out there. God bless, and I'm out. Peace.